Wow, hello fashion vlogger. Love the style, guys. Are we appreciating this or what? Um, I don't think that I should show up like this on the camera on YouTube, but this is the realities of life. We are back into winter mode and I'm fully prepared to spend a good warm day at home. I'm doing laundry, I'm doing things around the house and later on I'm gonna make a soup. So yeah, that's the day. The day is very special because look at this, look at this. It's April, it's 1st of April. Is it a Fool's Day, April Fool's? Is it today? Is this a joke? It's really happening. <laughs> anyway, back to you. I'm um, doing laundry at the set. This is the first set, Kashmir's. I thought to uh, give them a good wash since the cold weather is back for at least another another week. I thought I'll um, quickly wash mine and Dominic's cashmere bits and bobs and I'm very pleased with that. So I'm gonna put another layer because just wandering around the house is okay but I feel slightly nippy on my arms. Okay, much better. Oh guys, I can't believe that winter is back for another week and I was really hoping that that would be it you know that's it but no it's it's going for the last swing which is I guess all right I mean right who cares super dry hands and this is the only thing that really helps I got it off Cold Beauty before Christmas, I think, and it was really nice. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> it's very nice. And some cream. This cream is for the under eye area special moisturizer but I find that around my lip area it really likes it as well because it's a really nice and rich cream. Ha huh. what else? And the slip balm I found in our local Hornba in Bilnov. Can you believe it? This is the place where usually you get gardening and building material. And I found this lip balm, which is apparently perfect for like dry lips. So, and supposedly this is an American brand. So if you've heard of it, Please let me know if it's good or bad, like what is it? Because it does feel really nice on the lips. So the plan of action for today, to be honest, is to clean up. Also show you some of my balcony updates. I'm not gonna show you too much into the mess, but I managed to make a huge mess in both of our rooms, so in our bedroom and in our guest room. Plenty of laundry, very boring. Yeah. Laundry's on. Ooh. <laughs> so this is happening for sure. In the background, I'm kind of watching Josie's vlog, uh, Fashion Mumbler. And in the meantime, I'm admiring the balcony view outside because it has snowed. I mean, it was in the forecast, but I didn't believe it actually will snow. So this is the current situation. And 
It seemed like, like it calmed down for a moment, but it's been blistering, guys, honestly. Also today, um, I have some things to do on my laptop. I need to start changing my tickets around. I was meant to go to Ukraine, but I'm not gonna go this time. So that's the first thing. I have a lot of admin for tomorrow, and uh, I hope we will make it tomorrow to the shop. Also, excitingly, I have an amazing present from Dominic and uh, he shopped at Roman Meyer for amazing watch and I will show it to you in this vlog later on. So excited to be honest. And I guess you can see our kitchen in the background, which I also managed to mess up. So pretty much me cleaning up and later on making a soup a lovely chicken soup so stay tuned to that and uh, let's go check out the garden i mean garden the balcony because i've planted some things yesterday and maybe a little bit um, ahead of myself because as you can see today it snowed so i'm really hoping that all my little bulbs and flowers are gonna survive the frost otherwise it's just gonna be devastated i'll be really upset dominic slippers perfect for a little nip out outside oh so nice these are the tulips planted yesterday tulips and little daffodils I think they're called some balcony update for you the garlics going strong rosemary thyme rosemary blueberries oh, I hope they're gonna make it seriously they're about to bloom as you can see my little corner and new straw bulbs that I've planted in this pot I think I hope they'll be fine there with a little birdie to get water so cute and frosty mm, my goodness look at all this Jesus Sorry for the mess at the back, as I said, messed up the house. But here are my newly planted beautiful little flowers. I hope they're gonna make it. And over here are the strawberries, which you can't really see at all. Voila, winter wonderland. April. Amazing. Really cold. Before this disappears too quickly, my lunch break, watching Josie, there she is, so bon apps to me. I mean, sorry Josie, I'm gonna pause you for a bit, but this is really nothing special you'd think, leftovers from yesterday's dinner, but it turned out to be a lovely beef vermicelli with fresh coriander. Just perfect for this gloomy day. Mon dieu, can you believe it? It's like afternoon only, but it's been great like this. Anyway, let's continue. I really don't know where the day has gone, seriously. I'm also realizing that I speak very funny when I have my Invisalign in. Nevertheless, as you can see behind me, the kitchen is ready, ready for be messed up again. <laughs> well, um, not much. I mean, the most important part is that the dishwasher is clean. I've cleaned Yuna's dishes and next step would be to clean the machine itself. So this is all set and ready and the Thermix is ready. I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing in Thermix tonight but it's ready and I'm um, trying to avoid gloomy vibes vibes uh, however you say it and I've put up this 
little wannabe um, fireplace but it's definitely too small for this area and it's making rather much more noise <laughs> than heat but nevertheless that's the current situation and I need to um, trim these branches as well these are uh, I think cherry branches but um, I need to change the water for them and cut them a little bit so that's my mission as well on this beautiful gloomy but beautiful <laughs> April first of April ha 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 April's full incredible Just missed you. Just missed you not having her dindins in lovely, fresh, clean plates. What is Daddy doing? Mm -hmm. Mise en place. Yes, doing the job that I don't like doing, but it's an integral part of the soup. So we have mise en place ready for the soup. Mise en place is a French word for literally arranging things in order to be used for later. Called preparation. Preparation. Prep. <laughs> Mise en place. Prep. Pre so prep in the veg, all ready, pre-cut, clean, etc. I just need to peel the potatoes and this lovely, amazingly smelling ginger. Slightly cheating on the carrots here because yeah, and we have plenty of garlic. So this is just the fry up. Some more garlic there, coriander, dill, and uh, I will show you the process. I have two pots. I have a uh, pan and I have this massive pot for the soup, for the actual soup. Also, very important, butter is ready very cute local butter with a little flower I don't know if it shows up on the camera but super adorable local butter with my lovely Le Creuset present from my friends and um, yeah also for the fry up we're gonna use the sunflower seed oil rather than olive oil because olive oil has a bit of bitterness and uh, I might add as well uh, sesame oil yeah. and um, Soy sauce. So I think we're gonna go for a slightly more Asian flavor. We have coconut milk, so yeah. that always that goes awesome. really good. Yuna loves to sit on the table. Yes. And uh, we don't really mind because we clean the table every time we sit down to eat. Gloomy but cozy. April vibes. Yeah, Nisik, 1st of April today, can you believe it? 1st of it? April, April Fools. It's freaking winter outside. Unbelievable, seriously. Winter wonderland. Sunny for two weeks straight and then boom, skipped a whole year. Mm. Doo -doo -doo. The process is happening. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. So, I've got the onions. Uh, slowly stir it up. Here is slightly more in the pan because the chicken is gonna go in here. I've got some uh, ginger in here as well and a mix of onions, so red and white. And in the pot directly, 
I've added the oil, the sunflower seed oil. And over here I have a mix of onion as well as ginger. Now we're gonna add the garlic and I'll add a bit of garlic here and here as well. And in this pot we can add the butter. But first, as you can see, I'm gonna move everything to the sides and add a nice juicy chunk of butter. Yes, there is the butter going, going in. Make sure not to burn the veg here. Oops. Yeah, nicely, slowly. So, and here for the butter, Dominic kindly prepared the chicken, even with a slight marinade and we're just gonna dump it all in boom there you Here's another secret ingredient you'd be surprised to find in a soup, but some rice goes a long way. I like this one. So, I've added some rice just for a little bit of sustenance to the soup. Big chunk pieces of chicken here and I've added carrots as well. All going very nicely. And over there are the potatoes. Sorry for the noise. I like to do the potatoes separately. That's why they're boiling. There, I just have to add this one. Mm, perfect. Guys, we are on the last stretch and the chicken is in, potatoes is in, very easy. And I have some green left, greens left to add towards the end, towards the very, very, very end. We have some dill and coriander, so very simple to do it like that with scissors. And last but not least, I'm gonna quick pre-fry these lovely munch to peppers uh, really blitz blitz cook and that'll be it add water yeah add water and over here sorry I have a uh, chicken stock so I'll just add hot water from the tub unless you prefer to boil it Feel free, but for these purposes here, where we leave, we can use clean water like this, and um, it's all good. There you go, my darlings. The soup is almost ready. It just needs to simmer. Obviously add salt and pepper to taste and we've added a chicken stock But yeah, that's it and it's quite a bit of it. So for a couple of days definitely me and Dominic Are gonna eat this goodness. So make sure you this goes to boil and then let it stir like on a low heat
only show that I actually watch because I work full time and I'm a mum as well. So okay, what do you do full time then? I'm a call centre team leader for housing association. Right, well, that's why he's looking for dinner. Uh, you just wrote the books. No, sorry. Glamorous. Yeah, so much you got. I'm also quite smart, but love questions just didn't tell off. Let's put some money on the table. There we are. We're going to get £3,000. But if you wish to take a step closer to home, the chase will offer you minus £1,000. Ouch. But if you wish to take a step closer to the chase, she will offer you £51,000. Made it to our favorite place, Hornba, right there at the back, to get some flowers. There it is, big Hornba. Love it, love it, love it. They always have a great selection of flowers here, which is incredible. Look at the gray, with a bit of pink. And this is important. You shall see, I'll be back to fill it up for you guys. For you, for us. The loot, guys. The loot. The loot. My favorite tree ever. Look, it's called Mrs. Edwards. Mrs. Edwards. And this one is called Madame Lima, I suppose. So I got some more plants here for the outside. Blue for Dominic. Dominic loves blue. I'm Dominic. Yeah. <laughs> Look, two Jimneys. Yay, an old model. He's. This one is really cool. Seriously, I know it's old. Bitch. Yeah. That was a very productive shop. We stopped by in Coop as well. Got a few things. And look at this little munchkin. Straight to her grass. She loves this special grass for kittens and rabbits. And uh, yeah, no skin. Fresh. So nice and fresh. I also got this cute little geranium gonna have to repot everything these this is lemon verbena and I showed you my beautiful lilacs I'm so excited syringa vulgaris if you don't know that's the name in in Latin love it be friendly also look we got a little cute house for the bees I hope they're gonna use it I'm gonna put it on the balcon and uh, got some fresh carpets i really like i mean it's a little bit childish to have a flower shape but it's not too in your face however this is cutie i think it's a little cloud for our bathroom upstairs so far so good you happy happy kitten yes happy kitten yeah.
And mommy's happy as well. I've got a nice bottle of red wine, Villa Antonori. Mm -hmm. And my favorite cheese, which is called Surchois. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go, Surchois. Suck it in. Oh yeah, I'm an ass. Your mom was so nice. Brought in all the sandwiches. Can you imagine? Dominic's dreams. Roast chicken and bacon. Yeah. And Maya's dream. Look, the finest Earl Grey from a Maness. Yes. Super, super happy. And Dominic's favorite, obviously. Uh, chocolate resi raisins, which I looked for one time everywhere. I know. Mon dieu, that was super, super cold, you guys. Hornba being outside was a little bit crazy. Nevertheless, few things. I remember I told you about the lipstick. I got a new one. So it's definitely, it says made in the U US. It's all in German here, so I guess they translated, but I'm super happy for this lipstick because truly my lips feel very nice and soft. Also, from Coop today, got a new face cream and this is their natural line so very excited to try and this is my favorite flower as well Edelweiss if you've seen this flower before it's a typical Swiss flower so I'm just so curious to see how it smells mm. see the texture very nice and rich Reach texture. I'm gonna try it on my hand. Mmm. Oh, it smells nice. Very, very, very. How do you call it? Mm. Mm, lovely. Mm, I love this. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm. Day cream. Fantastic. Smells good. Also, I promised to show you my new watch. Dominic completely surprised me with this beautiful gift and its intention. So I'm very, very happy that he got for me a new Tissot watch. I always wanted to have this watch. These are Swiss made. It's a Swiss made brand. It's a really cute cool packaging and all so I obviously unboxed it already it came um, ooh, oh my god Dominic oh my god you guys I just noticed there is a different bracelet <gasps> so th that's the original bracelet as you can see very nice and uh, like cream light satiny it also i think the head the face of the watch is rose quartz so it's very nice with the ring with the engagement ring it goes perfectly nice i think so i'm very pleased with the new watch and um, i'm especially more pleased that it has a changing set of of a wrist bracelet so I can change it up beautiful I'm, I'm I'm completely I didn't expect and uh, I was very surprised when Dominic when Dominic brought in this bag from Roman Meyer and I very well know the place I'm like something from Roman Meyer must be something exceptional so Thanks a lot to my darling for the beautiful spring gift. The best thing is when you open, you have this scenario happening. <gasps> How cool is this? With the mountains at the back. Incredible, incredible. So fascinated with this brand. Voila, I'm back to my comfies all warmed up i'm not even gonna change uh, to anything more comfortable because how much more comfortable can you get 
when you're already wearing all the cashmere and I'm wearing a cashmere roll neck and a jumper and my Adidas trousers. So that's it. All right then, um, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I didn't mean to make it a long one anyway. And uh, we're just relaxing, chilling in this crazy weather. Oh my goodness. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have to postpone my gardening a little bit, but um, I think through the weekend, so today is Saturday, tomorrow Sunday and Monday I might, I might do some gardening, hopefully. I mean, garden, you saw my balcony. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm very excited for the spring to come at last, because this was just, um, I don't know what that was, but definitely, not the spring vibe at all, not what we wanted. So yeah, I hope the weather will change and the mood will therefore be more warm and just exciting for good times to come. Voila, thanks so much for tuning in and uh, also a big thanks to all your lovely comments for my recent videos and uh, welcome to new subscribers and obviously my OGs. Thanks for sticking in with me. All right then, have a good weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully the style one, because <laughs> this is just so bon. All right, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.